The gallbladder channel has five branches. The first branch starts at the outer eye corner, goes up to press the corner of the head and down to the back of the ear, following the neck in front of the Sanjiao channel to the shoulder, intersecting with the Sanjiao channel and entering stomach 12. The second branch from the back of the ear enters the ear center, moves to the front of the ear and arrives at the outer corner of the eye. The third branch leaves the outer eye corner, goes down to stomach five, joins the Sun Jiao channel, presses the cheek, the lamp, and stomach six, comes down the neck, joins stomach twelve, down to the chest center, pierces the diaphragm, networks the liver, subordinates the gallbladder, follows the interior flank, comes out at stomach thirty, coils around the hair border, and horizontally enters the buttock center. The fourth branch comes out down from stomach 12 down the armpit, follows the chest, passes the flank below and joins the buttock center, then down the thighs yang side, coming out at the outside of the knee, below outside the assistant bone, the fibula's front, straight down to gallbladder 39 at, at the end of the bone, comes out to the outside of the front of the ankle, following the top of the foot instep, entering the toe next to the small toe, that would be the fourth toe. The fifth branch leaves the top of the instep, enters the big toe space, follows the big toe's bone inside, comes out at its extremity, and returns to pierce the three hairs, that is liver one. The character gallbladder, dun, is made of the flesh radical and a phonetic, jun, which means a person on a cliff that is in danger, scattering their speech. Implied in the gallbladder is that it deals with judgment and what to do in difficulties, and as Xiaoyang, with balance. The bile clarifies fats. It induces yang. <clears throat> the gallbladder channel has many points that have the character yang in them, but it also has hills, mounds, and burial grounds. It is the gallbladder that takes accumulations, buried stuff, and clarifies it. It takes in sensory input and makes sense of it. This is why it goes around the ear, which is how we receive input, but it also goes down the flank where fish and many rodents also have sensory input, giving them the sense of balance. This is why many smaller animals prefer to move right next to walls so that they can sense the wall and secure themselves. For us too, the flanks relate to our perceptions. Perhaps that is why we tend to be sensitive or ticklish there. So the gallbladder channel has to do with perceiving, interpreting sensory input. Su Wen 8 says that the gallbladder is the official of centering and upright, meaning what is just and correct, and that decision and judgment stem from the gallbladder. This is true physically as well, and the channel allows us to find our center and uprightness by input and consolidation from the sides, and to move sideways, to bend and to curve, which is decision making. We can observe that the gallbladder channel is the brain channel, even though it never says that the channel enters the brain. It clearly has the largest concentration of points on the skull with names like the empty brain, gallbladder 19, receiving the soul, gallbladder 18, the root of the shen, gallbladder 13, etc. The point names on the lane by the ear, that is gallbladder 8, 9, 10, also suggest a strong connection to the brain, implying neural networks, myelin, and intelligence. Interestingly, this is a channel where a number of point names are repeated, once in the head and once in the lower leg. And so we have To Ling Chi and Zu Ling Chi, gallbladder 15 and 41, receiving the tears. And we have To Chiao Yin, and Zhu Qiao Yin, 
gallbladder 11 and 44, the intelligence or the portal yin points. And then gallbladder 39, the suspended bell, Xuan Zhang, reflex gallbladder 5, Xuan Lu, the suspended skull, and Xuan Li, the suspended small measurement, gallbladder 6. Its alternate name, Chue Gu, the cutoff bone, reflects gallbladder 12, Wan Gu, the end of the bone. And gallbladder 42, Di Wu Hui, Earth 5 meetings, can be paired with Du 20, Bai Hui, also known as Wu Hui. And gallbladder 37, Guang Ming, Light Bright, can be paired with bladder 1, Jing Ming, Eyes Bright. So we're seeing that many points on the gallbladder channel on the foot reflect names or very close names to points either on the gallbladder or other channels on the head or close to the brain. We also notice that there is no description of the constant zigzagging on the skull that we picture when we look at the numbering system. For most of us, we picture the channel as if it had three channels, three lanes, one coming down from gallbladder 4 to gallbladder 7, then back around the ear, close to the ear, down to gallbladder 12. With this lane, the closest to the ear, we're moving back towards the neck. Then we have a middle lane that now moves forward to get it back to gallbladder 13 and 14. And then we have the final lane, the one at the top, the one closest to the bladder or the dew channels, which is moving backwards again from gallbladder 15 to gallbladder 20. But this is not what is being described. The channel is stated only to start at the outer corner of the eye, goes up to the corner of the head, and moves to the back of the ear. None of these three lanes, each going in a different direction or zigzagging, it suggests that the channel is wide enough to accommodate points in different places without having to weave around. We can get a bit lost in looking at the points as some sort of counting or the movement of the channel, and it does not always work so well that way. There are cases where the points are somewhat independent, even though they belong to a particular channel. Gallbladder 1, Tang Zi Liao, is a Liao point, meaning it is like the wind that goes through a bone, soaring, it suggests the ability to emphasize. Tong, the pupil, is the eye on the left, and Tong, a virgin or a child, on the right. The etymology of this character is derived from a serious crime which, which requires celibacy or as a punishment. This is very similar to the, part, the character that is part of Chong, where it means serious, <coughs> without a crime though. That makes it chong, moving with seriousness, hence to dash. <coughs> so we see that it could be related to chong also. Gallbladder one is where we're invited to look to the side, to open new virgin horizons. Because of its name, some people also use gallbladder one in fertility treatments. It is like a double child in the name. Gallbladder 2, Ting Wei, the hearing meeting, is where we're invited to gather our auditory abilities, bringing what we perceive, what we sense in the world into the brain, which is what all the leg yang channels do. Gather the sensory input and bring it into the brain, and then proceed down the torso and the leg. Gallbladder 3, Shang Guan, the upper gate, is related to stomach seven, Xia Guan, the lower gate, just below it. One can see them as a, the gate to mastication, to the jaw movement, or one can see them both as the gate checkpoints of the sensory input we gathered and just before we bring it up to the brain. Gallbladder three is also known as Ke Juren, the guest host person which would suggest the ability to check in on one's guests, or to let them in, or not to let them in. 
So again, a checkpoint before the brain, making sure the guests we invite into the brain are wanted ones. Having said that, I also want to point out that when we look at the pathways of the channel, it is not clear to me that there really is the flow that goes from gallbladder 1 to gallbladder 2 to gallbladder 3, then to gallbladder 4. In many ways, it makes more sense that the flow is actually from gallbladder 1 up to gallbladder 4, 13 and 15, creating what we might think of as the three lanes going back towards the occiput while gallbladder 2 and 3 belong to the second branch, which starts at the back of the ear and goes through the ear and ends at gallbladder 1. We now arrive at the skull points on the channel, and before we do that, we need to look at some ideas about the brain and how the gallbladder, as an extraordinary foo, relates to the brain. In Ling Shu 33, there is a discussion on the brain as the seat of marrow. It names the transport point for the ocean of marrow as do 16 and as the lid of the brain. Most people assume that the lid of the brain means do 20, but the brain's lid is not likely to be do 20. For one thing, why would do 20 not be named explicitly just as do 16 is and as are all the other transport points for the other oceans? <clears throat> also, the character Gai means a lid, a cover, as well as to hide and also to construct, to build or to imprint. It is grass over the cover of a dish. A cover cannot just be at the center. It must always have some width. Otherwise, it is not covering, not hiding anything. The idea of grass over the roof of the dish conjures the idea or the image of the hair on the skull, which is the dish that holds the brain. So it would seem that the upper transport point for the brain or for the marrow is on the skull, at the top of the skull, and can spread out from the center to any distance as long as there is hair there. It all depends on how wide we want to consider the cover to be. From my own clinical experience, I can say that it can go all the way to stomach eight. So the size of the cover would include the gallbladder points like 13, 15, 16, 17, and 18. When the marrow is in surplus, according to Ling Shu 33, one experiences ease, sturdiness, lots of strength, and one exceeds one's limits or one's standards. <clears throat> when the marrow is insufficient, the brain revolves. There are sounds in the ears, the legs are weak, there is dizziness with spots, which may mean to suggest spots in the consciousness, lapses in the consciousness. One does not see what is there. There is lack of attention, tiredness, and wanting to lie down. So the sea of marrow is very important for the functions of the brain, to have good connection of the consciousness and the sense organs, to have a sense of strength, easefulness, and sturdiness. We can look at the gallbladder skull points in this light. There are four sections of these points, the skull gallbladder points. The frontal points, gallbladder 4, 5, 6, and possibly 7 as well, which are in the frontal side hairline. These intersect the Yang Ming channels, the large intestine and the stomach channels. Interestingly, the large intestine channel is not described as moving up to the corner of the head, although its sinew channel does. This group seems to suggest an entry to the brain and keeping the continuity of the brain's activity constant. The names of these points here have the character Schwann suspended in them, and Schwann specifically refers to the heart-mind being suspended. Because of the connection with Yangming, I think these are the points that they're looking at where bringing in sensory input. Are we accepting this input or not? So this is this kind of entry. The next group is the group that is above the ear, the temporal bone group, gallbladder 8, 9, and 10. This is the group that intersects with the bladder Taiyang. 
The point names here suggest synapses, surges, and myelin. The temporal lobe processes sensory input, language recognition, memory, and context formation. Of course, we assume that the ancient Chinese did not analyze the brain by lobes, but we do know that this is the area just above the ear, when, that when we are in overload mode, we will lean our palms into it to soothe and calm the brain, and that was probably the natural tendency of the people in the Han Dynasty as well. We then have the top group, gallbladder 13, 15, 16, 17, and 18. This is the group that intersects with the young way and is related to the sea of marrow and to fear and pain perceptions. In modern terms, we can call this the role of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the control or regulation of emotions. Again, the ancients might not have had our tools of detecting brain activities, but they probably could observe that when we are freaked out with pain or fear, when we are overtaken by emotion, we feel that this is the area that's pulsing in us, and that when we can cultivate our awareness so we can shift this overactivity further back to the back of the skull, the fear and the pain are calmed down. The fourth group is the occipital group, gallbladder 19 and 20 <coughs> and gallbladder 11 and 12. This is the area related to the autonomic nervous system, the counter to the top area, in a sense. In relaxation, a meditator can feel that the brain is shifting activity from the frontal cortex towards the back of the skull. Meditators are well aware that congesting the occiput increases thoughts during meditation, and the standard instruction is to drop or tuck in the chin so as to lengthen the back of the neck, and so as to calm the mind and allow it to concentrate. This is what we call the wind area, and wind means fluctuations of the mind, the mind jumping, not just external wind and immunity. This is the area that calms the wind, the scattering of the mind, and hence it is also known as, as anmyen, the peaceful sleep area. Gallbladder 4, Han Yan, is hard to understand by name. Ellis translates it as forehead fullness, while Deadman opts for jaw serenity. Neither seems quite right. Han does mean the jaw, but the location does not quite fit, except that one can feel the movement of the jaw at the temporal hairline, so perhaps chin or jaw really was the meaning. Yan does not mean either serenity, as Deadman suggests, nor fullness, as Ellis suggests. It is composed of a cliff and to fill. The character inside the cliff gives the meaning that Ellis suggests of fullness. And if we add the heart to the left of the character, we get Yan, contented or peaceful, and hence Deadman's choice of serenity. But the character itself that is used in gallbladder 4 as yun means to dislike, to be disgusted by, or bored by. My sense is that somehow han yan is meant to reflect one's assimilation of what was taken in by the jaw, the mastication process, and perhaps to suggest that one can now pass judgment, a dislike perhaps, of what has been taken in. Nowhere does it say that the gallbladder enters the brain, and yet it seems pretty obvious that this is the brain channel, with so many points over the brain, and with names of the head points on the channel. Gallbladder 4, to me, is one of those places that intersect with the brain, or the brain function. Both Shaoyang channels, as well as both Yangming channels. So it suggests the beginning of the penetration into the brain, where we take the sensory input and we pass some sort of judgment on it. Gallbladder 5, Xuan Lu, the suspended skull, and Gallbladder 6, Xuan Li, the suspended centimeter, or the suspended measurement, are also meetings of the two Xiaoyang and the two Yangming channels. So, 
They are similar to gallbladder 4, perhaps an entry to the brain, to the consciousness. The character Schwann means suspended and is made of the character of the heart and to hang, to suspend something. The heart is hanging, it is suspended, meaning that the physical heart or the mind are suspended, stopped. So again, an entry gate to the mind as in the brain. This, suspension, sus, this suspension happens on two occasions. In the case of the physical heart, it is when one has a skipping beat. The heart has been suspended. And in the case of the mind, it is related to stroke. The mind has been suspended. Gallbladder 5 and 6 are good supporting points for anyone with a skipping beat. Supporting gallbladder 39, Xuanzang the suspended bell or the suspended clock. They are also used for dry eyes or lack of tears. Gallbladder 7, Chue Bin, the bend in the temple, is related by name to kidney 9, Chue Bin. The bin in gallbladder 7 is composed of hair and a guest, Bin. This is the bin in Chue Bin, kidney 9, the guest house. And kidney 9 is my go-to point for TMJ issues. And gallbladder 7 is where one can feel the movement of the TMJ. These four gallbladder points, gallbladder 4, 5, 6, and 7, can all be seen as an entryway into the brain where we bring the sensory input and create the continuum of consciousness in the brain. And the line that form will treat lack of tears and it is especially good for Sjogren's patients who complain of dry eyes. Gallbladder 8, Shui Gu, the lead, leading valley, is suggesting its connection to the brain. Shui is composed of threads inside a frame, pretty much like synapses inside the skull. And just as in kidney 2, we can interpret the character Gu here to be a shorthand for you, meaning desires or needs. Again, suggesting how the neural network perceives our needs and our desires. Gallbladder 8 through 12 are all points that are also on the bladder Taiyang channel, on the branch that starts at the top of the head and spreads to the top of the ear. Like the Sanjiao points next to them, closer to the ear, they, represents the, they, they represent the temporal lobe's function of processing sensory input, language recognition, memory, and context formation. Gallbladder 9, Tianchang, the heavenly hub or the heavenly surge, again is a point that seems to be referring to the neural traffic of the brain, the brain being Tian, Chang, because it means to charge, or to surge, or to dash, often tends to connote the autonomic nervous system in point names. Gallbladder 10, Fu Bai, floating white, is part of the brain, temporal lobe area of the gallbladder channel. Fu is to float or superficial and can also mean excess as in to overflow. It could be referring to the white looking matter, the myelin of the brain. And of course, the myelin can be said to be floating, insulating the accents. This is a point that can be used in tinnitus as well as in cataracts. Gallbladder 11. To Chao Yin, the head intelligence Yin, or orifice Yin, is again a point that seems to refer to the brain. This is now an occipital point lying at the junction of the occiput and the mastoid. The occiput is a bit of a gateway to the brain as how the occiput is carried, the relationship it creates between the head, the cranium, and the neck, the spine, is crucial for smooth brain activity. Congestion of the arteries here can cause dizziness and lack of function of the brain. 
The traditional meditation instruction is to tuck the chin slightly in order to elongate or open this area, which is considered a wind area, so as to allow free flow. When the occipital area is pushed and congested, the brain is flooded with thoughts, wind, and there is a tendency to daydream rather than to concentrate. Gallbladder 12, Wang Gu, the complete bone, is another occipital point. The name refers to the edge of the bone, presumably. However, the character 1, when adding the flesh radical to it, is the same character 1 as in Ren 12, Ren 10, and 13. And there are times when in order to release Ren 12 area, one would need to needle gallbladder 12. It is also related to Yuan, as in Ren 4, Guan Yuan, or Bladder 26, Guan Yuan Shu. The mastoid bone can get puffy in patients with autoimmune disorders, and Bladder 26 area, the sacroiliac ligaments, will also often have puffy nodules on them. Ren 4 and Bladder 26 both treat autoimmune disorders, and Gallbladder 12 area can be used as one of the reflexes to find and test against when treating autoimmune patients. I also use gallbladder 12 for low back issues, kind of like craniosacral idea, to lift the occiput and mastoid so as to create space in the rest of the spine. This can be done anywhere along the occipital line from do 16 all the way to gallbladder 12. I often to prefer to come from the sides with the idea that a lift, an extension, is two hands coming from the side, as the character Shen shows us. And this is also an area that I use for tinnitus as well. At gallbladder 13, Ben Shen, the root of the Shen, we have clearly entered the brain arena of the gallbladder channel. These points are also Yang Wei points. All the hairline points tend to have a resonance with what TCM might call Shen disturbance, affect and calm the brain. This is the area of the brain that determines and modulates our emotions, our responses to sensory input, our capacity or decision to amplify or release emotions, or if we use the gallbladder language, to accumulate or to clarify. Gallbladder 14, Yang Bai, Yang Clarity, can be interpreted a number of different ways. Although we normally think of Bai as white, it is actually a representation of the sun just coming up, so it means clarity and purity, as well as white or pale. It can be seen as specifically related to the eyes, and by, in that case, would mean the brightness, and this would be in line with bladder 1, Jing Ming, bright eyes, and also delineating the eyes with stomach 2, Se Bai, the four whites below the eye, so there's a white above and a white below. Gallbladder 14 is a very good point for eyes, although I would tend to take it for that purpose a bit lower and a little bit more medial to the textbook description. I look for the depression at the lateral end of the bump, above bladder 2. Another way to look at gallbladder 14 is that it is the function of clarifying that the gallbladder has, and the channel has a number of points with the character Yang in them, gallbladder 34, Yang Lingchuan, gallbladder 35, Yang Zhao, and gallbladder 38, Yang Fu, and of course gallbladder 14, Yang Bai. It is about taking what might be murky and clarifying it. Gallbladder 15, To Lin Qi, the head facing tears, <clears throat> is part of the gallbladder brain point set, affecting the nervous system and cognition. It is also a point that has a sister point on the leg with a similar name. The significance of the characters Lin Qi is that Lin contains within it the character to lean or to recline, and qi, tears, contains the character to stand. So we have both the vertical and horizontal axes. 
This is significant in gallbladder 41, which was chosen as the opening point of the dye, which is a horizontal channel. Gallbladder 16, Mu Chuang, the window of the eyes, relates to the eyes just like its neighbor, bladder 6, Chen Guang, the receiving light. The window here means the actual frame and then the space within it. So gallbladder 16 is the vision point with a specific leaning for the eye orbit. It is one of the gallbladder brain points and it calms and affects the brain. <coughs> gallbladder 17, Jiang Ying, the upright nourishment, <coughs> can also mean fearful. The expression Jiang Ying means to be fearful or anxious. <coughs> it is part of the gallbladder, scalp, brain points affecting anxiety, fear, pain perception, etc. <coughs> gallbladder 18, Cheng Ling, receiving the soul, is the last of the gallbladder brain points at the top of the head. Gallbladder 19, now Kong, the brain emptiness is obviously related to the brain, but in a different way than the skull points. This is an occipital point, and like do 17, now who, the brain door, at the same level, it is about the entry to the brain, guarding the brain from too much movement, wind, so it is related to the autonomic nervous system's input to the brain, while the top of the skull points seem to be related more to the brain's effect on the nervous system the interpretation of what the nervous system brings in. This is a metaphor, and obviously the nervous system and the brain inter are interconnect and cannot be separated in this kind of dogmatic manner. And the purpose of this kind of differentiation is simply to suggest treatment ideas and applications. <clears throat> Gallbladder 19 may show as a reflex in insomnia, anxiety, and hormonal disorders, although it is more common to find puffiness or pressure pain in those cases below gallbladder 19. Gallbladder 20, Feng Chi, the wind pool, is the TCM go-to point for exterior conditions. I look at the idea of wind in the occipital region a little bit more internally, probably because my practice tends to revolve around chronic conditions and I do not treat lots of fresh day-old or two-day-old colds and flus. The way I look at wind and at the occipital area is that <clears throat> if the occipital area is shortened, crunched, the brain gets locked. It is as if the thoughts are unable to vent out of the brain. So to me, wind simply means the movement of the mind of thoughts. Meditators know this. When you find yourself caught in thoughts or daydreaming while meditating, one of the things that help is to lengthen the back of the neck by slightly tucking the chin in. This allows the brain to let go of the thoughts and resume concentration. This is the area of the brainstem regulating heart and breathing, as well as the central nervous system and consciousness. Gallbladder 21, Jian Jing, the shoulder well, is clearly an ouchy part on most people's shoulders, and one perhaps can find a little well there also in spite of the tightness of the muscle. Some practitioners use gallbladder 21 as a way to open up the Jing well points of the arm meridians, as if it were a circular circulatory center for the upper extremities. In my own experience, this is not as reliable as releasing or activating stomach 1112, the scalings area, the brachioradial plexus. Just in back of gallbladder 21 is the point which releases the temporomandibular joint. And pain on gallbladder 21 can be released with either spleen 9 or inner yin, five fingers above kidney 10. Pain on on gallbladder 21 is considered to be wood excess with weak earth, so we tonify spleen 9 in order to make the spleen stronger. 
gallbladder 22, Yuan Ye, the armpit abyss, suggests something dark as befitting its hidden location under the armpit, but it also suggests an undercurrent of potential, because an abyss is water that is swirling in some contained way, so it is waiting to be released. This is the meeting of the three arm yin sinews. Long nine, Tai Yuan, the great abyss, is another abyss that is a meeting point, in this case of the vessels. However, there is a third abyss in the body, Qing Leng Yuan, San Zhao 11, the clear, cool abyss, which does not serve as a meeting point or a place of potential energy. But I still think that abyss in general should mean something that's waiting, something waiting to happen, the potential waiting to happen. <clears throat> I use gallbladder 22 primarily for shoulder problems with an inability to lift the arm. Gallbladder 23, Zhe Jin, the flank sinews, presumably refers to the intercostal muscles. Jin, a sinew, is something in the body, striated like bamboo, and which has the strength. The intercostal muscles <clears throat> could be some sort of short bamboo, so in some ways they don't totally fit the striation. However, just as in gallbladder 22, its neighbor, what we see here is a potential of strength in a hidden place under the armpit. The lateral line in fish and some rodents serves a bit like an auditory organ, detecting current vibrations. Although we no longer have this capacity, our flanks still have a relationship to our ears, and gallbladder 22 and 23 area can treat the mastoid and ear problems and so does liver 13. <clears throat> gallbladder 24, Ri Yue, the sun and the moon, is the moo of the gallbladder. The bile or the gallbladder or the gallbladder they clarify. So here we have the sun clarifying what is yin, the moon, the lipids. Another way to look at this name is that we had just had two points that are hidden and store potential, and here there is the suggestion that the potential is in full light of the sun. I do not use this point a lot. To diagnose gallstones, I do tap on the area to the right, on the right side and also lower and more lateral to it. Gallbladder 25. Jing Men, the capital gate, is one of the gates that are at the edges of the ribs. I am not clear as to what the capital is meant to be here. <clears throat> Ellis says that Jing, capital, also implies Yuan, source. So it could be referring to the kidneys, since gallbladder 25 is the kidney mu point. Another idea is that the capital refers to the ribs. The etymology of Jing is literally tall and vertical, and the support at the bottom of the ribs is required in order to be tall and vertical. I use this point to help stimulate the, qu the quadratus lumborum in order to stimulate the kidneys so as to excrete water in cases of edema, doing that after using the spleen, spleen 3, 7, and 11, to move the water. This is a point that is best needled with a patient lying on their side and the needle direction is down towards the spine. Gallbladder 26, Dai Mai, is a reference to the horizontal channel, the Dai, belt channel. The primitive Dai Mai is basically a belt around the navel, from L2 going all the way around the body to the navel. And then we have the daimai that moves down the inguinal as a way of siphoning off, venting out what we carry, the dampness. The current textbook location of gallbladder 26, which is level with the navel below the edge of the 11th rib, is not the one I use. I take it level with the navel and totally to the side. The location as being below the 11th rib comes from Li Shi Zhen. His thinking was that if the Dai Mai siphons off dampness, 
and dampness is coming from the spleen, then Dai Mai should start at liver, 12, liver 13, Jiang Men, the Mu of the spleen, and then the dampness seeps down to gallbladder 26, which now had to be moved forward in order to fit his theoretical model. But physically, there is nothing to suggest to me an acupuncture point below the tip of the 11th rib, level with the navel, while there's plenty if one goes all the way to the side. Gallbladder 26 is the axis on which we twist the back, and therefore it can show up in back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, and a host of other musculoskeletal issues. If there is a twist involved, many impact injuries and falls will involve a twist because one tries to soften the impact, escape it, etc. People generally do not just straight fall straight like a log. They curve or they twist or they bend. And in car accidents, because of the seat belts, there's often a twist around gallbladder 26 as well. Kidney 7 tends to release pressure pain on gallbladder 26 and helps resolve the other issues involved whether they're back pain, neck pain, or shoulder pain, etc. Once gallbladder 26 has been released, it can then also be needled. Heart 3 is also a point involving spinal twists, but not so much at the waist, but more at L5 or at C7, so at the edges of the spine rather than the center of the spine. Nonetheless, kidney 7, heart 3, and gallbladder 26 should all be checked if one of them is involved and does a good job because the other ones, the other two, might be amplifying the effect of the first one. Gallbladder 26 releases the pectoralis, lung 1, lung 2 area, and is also a very good point for trigger finger. It also tends to be ropey in people who consume lots of salt. Gallbladder 27, Wu Shu, the five pivots, the five axes, and Gallbladder 28, Wei Dao, the linking path, both have two locations, depending on which period one is using to base the location on. They can be straight down from Gallbladder 26, still at the side of the body, below the iliac crest in the gluteus medius, or they can be located as they are in today's textbooks in the inguinal groove. In either case, they provide the support, the pivot or the axis for the torso, the support, the linking to be, so be it in the inguinal or if it's taken totally on the side from where one can create the lift in, of the body, its extension as if squeezing both sides to create length. When one takes them on the side, we might call it Mu Shu, between the Mu, the front, and the Shu, the back. And it is used to strengthen the lower Dantian to create a lift and resolve pulsing at Ren 9. Supporting points for this lift are kidney 6, inner yin, and either bladder 2, stomach 9, or under the teeth. On the inguinal, these points can be used as part of the reflex area for abdominal prolapse from overweight, large breasts, or a shifting of L5 forward. This pattern comes with back pain or urine incontinence and is treated with stomach 13. They are also important to check for congestion in abdominal circulation and hence play an important role in gynecological issues, together with the inner thigh, liver 12 area. After releasing it, the area can be needled down and out towards the thigh to increase abdominal circulation. The inguinal location, needled down and out towards the thigh, also resolves diaphragmatic tension and is an important treatment area for menopausal hot flashes. Gallbladder 29, Zhu Liao, the residence Liao, is translated by Ellis as squatting liao. However, ju, the squat, is written with the addition of the foot radical on the left, and the character in gallbladder 29 actually means residence. Liao 
is not merely a bone hole, as usually translated, but rather the soaring, the sound of wings flying in a bone. So it implies something that can get amplified, that can soar. It is like the wind that is passing through a conch. It represents potential. The space between the trochanter and the hip bone allows us to open the chest. When we fall into the legs and not lengthen the space of the hip joint, the chest will collapse, our breathing is constricted, and because of the diaphragmatic congestion, it will also affect the nervous system. The area around the trochanter, therefore, releases the rhomboids and the lungs. The rhomboids, in turn, can also release gallbladder 29 area pain. It is also a good point for many nervous system disorders as it allows the diaphragm to expand and has soothes out the nervous system. It is also a good point for ankle and knee problems as it releases some of the pressure created when all the weight falls down into the leg, when there is no separation between the leg and the torso, when the space around the trochanter is pushed down and squeezed. Gallbladder 30, Huan Tiao, the encircling jump, is suggestive of a few things. Obviously, for leg movement, and it is used either as a reflex or as a treatment for piriformis tightness in sciatica. Tiao, to jump, means the sign of the foot, or the multitudes of the foot. It is like Gallbladder 21, Jian Jing the shoulder well, which one can think of as referring to the fingers, the Jing well points, as opening or activating the tips of the fingers. Similarly, gallbladder 30 can be used as a point that activates the tip of the toes. Huan, the loop can be also referring to the anus or the cervix, just as bladder 30 by Huan Shu. And gallbladder 30 is an important reflex point to be released in gynecological issues as a tight piriformis can imply constricted circulation into the lower abdomen. Gallbladder 30 can be released with Hukaya gallbladder 31, two fingers posterior to the regular gallbladder 31 towards the bladder channel, and then two fingers superior, that is towards the buttocks. Kidney 16, can also release gallbladder 30. Gallbladder 31, Feng Shi, the wind market, is one of the two market points which are both on the thigh. Stomach 33, Yin Shi, the Yin market, is being the other. The character Shi market means the space between the cities where grass grows and people get what they are in need of. Shi means space, reaching out to the limits of one's space and also to accumulate. A market means to exchange, and gallbladder 31, especially in combination with a point on the stomach channel at the same level, supports the exchange of the vectors of up and down in the body and support the lift of the perineal floor. They are therefore good for pain symptoms that come when there is no support of the perineal floor, no postural support from the thighs, therefore it exchanges wind, so to speak. And actually inner yin, five fingers above kidney 10, is even better than the stomach point. But inner yin does not have the character market in it. Gallbladder 31 releases the piriformis though the Hukaya location usually does a better job. Hukaya's gallbladder 31 is located two fingers behind the official location, meaning closer to the bladder channel, and then either two fingers up towards the buttocks or two fingers down towards the knee. I find that the higher location tends to be the one that works better in most cases, not the lower one. It is also a good point for prostate problems. Gallbladder 32, Chengdu, the central river, is a point with some question marks for me. Mostly because Du 
river, appears in only one other point, Samjao 9, and I have not come to fully penetrate the possible connections between these two points. So let's see if we can try it. If gallbladder 31 and 32 help lift the perineal floor and Samjao 9 releases the neck and the nervous system, there might be a connection there with one point affecting the perineal diaphragm and one the vocal cord diaphragm. But what did they mean by the ditches, the gutters, where exchanges are being made? Du is composed of the water radical on the left and to sell on the right. It is the waterways where exchanges, peddling, selling takes place. So in some ways it has a similar connotation as gallbladder 31, the wind market. It is also possible to look at it as the central river, the groove that is the tensor fascia lata. Gallbladder 33, Xi Yang Guan, the Ni Yang Gate, is basically the Yang outer complement for liver 7, Xi Guan, the Ni Gate on the inner side. We now come to the lower leg, and here the point names seem to reflect either yang, clarity, or brightness, or accumulations, hills, and mounds. This is consistent with the gallbladder function of storing and releasing bile, which emulsifies fat, clarifies accumulations. So we see yang in gallbladder 34, yang ling chuan, in gallbladder 35, yang jiao, and in gallbladder 38, yang fu. And we see brightness and light in gallbladder 37, Guang Ming. Then we see Hill Chu in gallbladder 36, Wai Chu, and in gallbladder 40, Chu Shu. Gallbladder 34, Yang Ling Chuan, the Yang Mount Spring, contains both ideas. The Yang here is more reference to the location, distinguish it in it from spleen 9, meaning it's the one on the yang side, whereas spleen 9 is the one on the yin side. Ling is a mound, a burial ground, and Chuan is a spring or a fountain, something that rises, has a yang, clarifying quality to it. The other interesting thing that we see in these lower leg points is that many of them reflect point names or ideas expressed on the gallbladder channel in the head, reinforcing the idea that the gallbladder channel is indeed the brain channel, the marrow channel. Gallbladder 34, Yang Ling Chuan, has the yang and the spring ideas as well as the mound, the accumulation idea, in its name. It is considered the meeting point of tendons or ligaments. In my opinion, this is a bit misleading. I believe that gallbladder 34 would be more appropriately served as the meeting point of torque. Think of it as the axis of all small shifting movements, such as when you are skiing, the area below the knee allowing the slight play between the tibia and fibula allows for movement shifts in the rest of the body. It controls turning, torques, that are initiated in tendons and ligaments. So it is more about the torques, the twists in the ligaments, than the actual substance of the ligaments. Gallbladder 34 would be my point of choice when there is a twist, a torque in a tendon, but not necessarily when a tendon is overstretched. And to differentiate it from gallbladder 26, which is a twist point, gallbladder 26 is for a twist in the back. It's a much bigger movement. Gallbladder 34 is the smaller movements that are in one tendon that can then cascade to other places, other tendons. So it's a, it's a somewhat different idea. This makes gallbladder 34 the point of choice for sacroiliac joint pain. It is also a good point for both wrist and shoulder tightness, as well as for calf cramps, in which case it is used opposite side to the cramping calf. Gallbladder 34 is also famous and as an exorcism point. This is where you can get to extract entities from the burial ground 
or to bury them and put them to rest. Spleen 9, needled upwards, and gallbladder 34, needled towards spleen 9, is an essential part of menopausal hot flash treatment. Gallbladder 35, Yang Jiao, Yang Intersection, also serves as the Xi point of the Yang Wei, the Yang linking channel. Unlike Spleen 6, San Yin Jiao, where the three leg yin channels meet, Gallbladder 35, Yang Jiao, is not considered a point that shares the bladder or the stomach channels. On the yin side, we see that the level of the base of the gastrocnemius invites all three leg channels to generate important points there, kidney 9, spleen 7, and liver 5. On the back, it is slightly higher, but it still, at the support of the gastrocnemius, we have bladder 58, gallbladder 35, and gallbladder 36. While gallbladder 35 represents the idea of the gallbladder as young, as clarifying, gallbladder 36, Wai Chu, the outer mound, the she of the gallbladder channel, represents the idea of the accumulations, those that need to be clarified. In some ways, they are referring to the same idea, simply from different angles, sitting on each side of the bone. It is this idea of being able to clear mounds and accumulations that might be the reason we see rabies as listed as a symptom for the use of gallbladder 36 in TCM texts. Not having ever treated rabies, I have not been able to contemplate this usage. With gallbladder 37, Guang Ming, light brightness, we see the quality of clarity, yang, of the gallbladder as an extraordinary fu, and also the connection of the points below the knee with points in the head. Guang, light, relates it to bladder six, cheng guang, receiving light, and ming is related to bladder one, jing ming, bright eyes. We can look at gallbladder 37, as brightening the eyes, which is a typical use. Or we can also look at it as related to the brain as a whole, with Ming meaning our understanding, so it suggests the light of understanding. Gallbladder 38, Yang Fu, the Yang Assistance, is interpreted by Ellis to be related to the fibula, the assistance bone. This may well be the origin of the point name, but I do think that it also suggests that the area is important and is activated as we create our upright, young posture, stabilizing the lower leg over the foot. This is the fire point, so if there's pressure pain here, one would want to use the metal water points, gallbladder 43 and 44. Gallbladder 39, Xuan Zhang, the suspended bell or the suspended clock, is the meeting point of marrow. It is another point that reflects points in the skull. Gallbladder 5, the suspended skull, and gallbladder 6, the suspended centimeter. It is also known as Jue Gu, the cut-off bone, which is a reflection by name of gallbladder 12, Wan Gu, the complete bone. Interestingly, the character Jue, to sever, to break off, to cut off, is a knife that is cutting silk into sections. However, the seal, the section, is written instead with a different radical, which is a snake. Did the ancients want to suggest the Indian idea of the spine, the marrow as a coiled snake? Or perhaps they were referring to the marrow as in a coiled energy that one might see if one were to cut the bone. Where we have a clock or a regularly beating bell in the body is in the heart. Gallbladder 39 is a good point for people with skipping heartbeats as well as for strokes. It is Nagano's point of choice for people with Parkinson's with spleen 9 or 
any other brain injury if the pulse is wiry, meaning an excess pulse with a string-like quality. It is a point that can be used for any spinal problem, especially for scoliosis, and it is also used for any neck problem. Gallbladder 40, Chiu the mound burial ground, is one of the points that point to accumulations. Splint 5 on the other side of the ankle is also a mound, Shang Chiu. So it seems that the mound, the Chiu part, or the hill part of the name, refers to the ankle bone location. Shu, burial ground, appears otherwise only in kidney 24, Ling Shu the sole burial ground, so it is unlikely to be a further reference to the ankle. The character shoe is made of the earth radical and something empty, weak, false. The main use of this point is for sinus issues, an empty buried place. I use Oculomoxa for this, and generally I find the spot below the ankle crease, slightly towards gallbladder 41, as this is where most people will have a hill-like puffiness. Gallbladder 40 is also considered a paired, a supporting point to Sanjiao 8, just as gallbladder 41 is often paired with Sanjiao 5. But I have dropped both these pairings many years ago and do not utilize this currently. It can also be a good point for back pain. And pain on gallbladder 40, which is quite common in ankle injuries, tends to be resolved with kidney 7, supported by gallbladder 29 and the immune point. Gallbladder 41, Ling Qi, the foot facing tears, may be where tears might drop when one is crying. This is a point that reflects the strong connection of the gallbladder to the skull, and the other Lin Chi is gallbladder 15. The interesting thing about this point is that it is considered to be the opening point of the Dai channel, a horizontal channel, and the characters Lin Chi contain in them both the vertical and the horizontal dimensions. Lin to face has to lie down or to prostrate, as part of the character, while Chi to cry has water and to stand in it. So we have both standing and reclining or crouching in the name. While these two points share this, why these two points share this name is really not clear to me. But I can see that if one prostrates in front of another person, the prostrating person's gallbladder 15 would be touching the honored person's gallbladder 41. Gallbladder 42, Di Wu Hui, the Earth Five Meetings, could also be a name that reflects the name of the skull point, this time Du 20, which is also known as the Five Meetings, Wu Hui, as well as the Hundred Meetings, Bai Wei. Whether 5 here is a literal number or means some sort of completion, it seems that the meaning is to indicate that this is the place where we touch or meet the ground and that this place affects our standing up from the ground. This is something we can, that we can say about the whole line of the shoe points from spleen 3 to bladder 65 and not just about gallbladder 41 or 42. Gallbladder 43, Xia Xi, the Noble Creek, is translated by Ellis as the Pinched Creek. However, the character Xia, used in Gallbladder 43, the same as in Lang 4, Xia Bai, and while the right side of the character does mean pinched, the character as written does not. The creek part is likely the position of the web of the two toes. But what is noble or chivalrous, xia, about this point? It is not so obvious. It may have had to do with balancing the weight between the outside and the inside of the foot, which would fit the character xia to squeeze 
But that would tend to be more clear at gallbladder 42 or 41 rather than gallbladder 43. So the name remains a bit of a mystery. Gallbladder 44, the Chao Yin, the leg orifice Yin, or the intelligence Yin, is the foot name that is equivalent to gallbladder 11, the To Chao Yin, again suggesting the strong connection of the gallbladder channel to the brain. Gallbladder 43 and 44 are the metal water combination used to treat gallbladder channel pain and inflammation. On the right side, they treat gallstones together with Sanja 1 and Sanja 2 on the right side. And gallbladder 43, 44 still on the right side with stomach 44 and 45 on the left side is a combination used for constipation.